going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's a hectic day for us. Well, let me stop it, I'm recording. You're gonna rip this off? You're not gonna do nothing, punk. You want some of me? You want some of me? All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Oh, knock it. Give, I'm gonna give you the stone cold stunner. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll go record with Genesis detailing. What's going on? So, guys, Genesis detailing. I don't know. Um, he's having a uh, some troubles, I should say. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Well, by the time the video is done, maybe it'll be done. But uh, we're doing a oil change on his generator over here. That's done. Changing the spark plug out. He bought the wrong one, so that's not done. I didn't buy the wrong one. I didn't, they didn't have the right one. Oh, they didn't have. Oh, they didn't have the right one. Hey, what oh, are you cool. doing? And the uh, Honda, he's got his Honda pressure washer uh, over here. So this thing, he did the oil change, uh, did the uh, the spark plug on old girl. And, well, now he wants to change the gear oil on it. That is, uh, I believe it's somewhere in there or in that shaft right there. So I'm not really sure. I don't know. I've never, I've never messed with anything like that. But it doesn't look too difficult. I don't think I have the right oil here. What is it, gear oil? I have the right oil, I just don't know. Is this the drain plug? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's something on there. Uh, it's got to be that indication. There's nothing on the bottom. It should be. I would I would check the lowest point, maybe. Should Anything under the there? Yeah. No. Just look online real quick. I, great oh. idea. Well, there you go. Continue. You're not doing a good job. You've only been doing it for 30 minutes now. Every pump's different is the issue. Oh, okay. Well, guys, while Nick's still dealing with that, it's for cigar tank. What the? What the hell? What? What are you doing? What happened to my show? I was watching Chicago PD. What are you watching? Comedy Central? I watch Chicago PD. My, that's not fake. It's real life. That's my boy, Hank Voigt. You don't know Hank Voigt. What? Yeah, well, the things, the book said you're good for eight to ten years. Thank you. Five years on that thing. Have you had it for five years already? No. What'd you say? Oh. Alright guys, well, since Homeless is sitting there just relaxing, he just comes here, eats my food, sit on my couch, eat my Oreos, and that's it. He's going to go home, or go home, but go back on the street until the next day with Nick. But now, now uh, it's cigar time. So, so yeah, if this poor guy... Yeah, well, you better keep him employed. I mean, poor, poor guy. Well... Technically, he's going to be homeless soon because his family's leaving his ass. <laughs> They're so tired, so poor. So a lot of you guys, and, and check this out, guys. This is actually a pretty crazy story because a lot of people probably won't have the uh, the balls or, or, nor the guts to do this, but his family is leaving him. And not like leaving him, like, you know, because they're... Like, not my kind of leaving him. Like, I like him to leave because I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of him. They're leaving him because they're moving out of California and going to Arkansas. Or where are they going? Indiana. Indiana. They're going to Indiana. What's his last name? What? What's his last name? Who, Jones. Jacob? Jacob Jones, yeah. He's got two Indiana first names. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to Indiana Jones. But, um, so, Jacob over here decided he has, he has, th what do you have, three brothers? Three, three brothers. And they're leaving. His mom, his dad's leaving. The whole family's pretty much gone. So he made the decision, and this is ballsy. And he's, is, aren't you the youngest? He's the youngest out of all three of them. He made the decision to stay in California. Now for you guys that live in California know, and are probably like, what the hell, Jacob? Get yeah, they're all commenting. I guarantee you guys go ahead and comment. Should he stay or should he leave? But I know a lot of you guys can tell him, Jacob, get the hell out of here. Go start a new life. But um, he's staying. And he's going to stay with Nick with Genesis Detailing and try to make it out here in California. And that takes balls, guys. You know, you got you got to respect the kid for, for staying, for pretty much leaving his family. Why, why, I don't get it. Why don't you just go? And, I mean, I'm not saying go take the easy road, guys. But why don't you just want to go and... What's out there? Population 1,700. The closest thing there okay. is a gas station and a liquor store. Okay. My best friend's going to be a cow. Okay, hey man, I mean, I think it'd be pretty cool I mean, to hang out with the cow. What kind of girls are out there? What? Uh, Indiana cowgirls. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. No so, I'm, now there might be some people watching from Indiana. Probably from Dillsboro. Wait, wait, what part of Indiana? Dillsboro. D what's it called? Dillsboro. Dillsboro? 
1700. Dale, Dale, is it Dale or Dale? Dale. Dale. Dale's, Dale's Borough. 50 minutes away from Cincinnati. Okay. 50 minutes away from anything else. Okay, well, I mean, there you have it guys. I don't know, what would you guys do? I'm sure a lot of people probably would go with their family because I mean, dude, he's gonna be by himself. No home. Well, he found a home. Well, no, he found a home now. He found, he's not homeless anymore. He found a home. He's going to be actually living like five, ten minutes from here, right down the hill. So he's got a home. He's here all the time. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the gate, my main gate, shut. Have security guard, Rottweiler's pits all out front. Tell security if you see this guy, not let him in. But so uh, he's going to be about ten minutes from here. And uh, he found a house to live in. He's gonna be paying rent. He's got a car, gas, mortgage, lights, electricity. I mean, it, California, guys, is extremely, extremely expensive compared to the other states. Uh, I'm sure there's other states out there that are pricey, but I do know, man, California, they tax us and destroy us here for everything. And a lot of you guys say, why do you stay? Uh, I would tell you the weather, but it's been hot as a mother flower outside. So I can't tell you the weather anymore now. I don't know because I guess I don't want to move everything out of the garage. I don't know what excuse to give me. But uh, you got to respect the guy. Give him props. And let's see, you know. We'll see if he makes it out here in Cali. We'll see if, uh, I mean, he's going to, are you staying with Nick at Genesis? I mean, you got like another job up your sleeve or? Full-time Genesis. Full-time. So he's a full-time Genesis. So in my eyes, if I was working for Genesis, what would be your next goal since you're going to be staying here by yourself, you know, pretty much having, you're not going to have no help. I mean, I don't know, are your parents going to send you money? No, exactly. So, <laughs> what is what is your goal to expand in the Genesis? We're just making Genesis big. We're doing everything we can. But maybe I would I would plant a seed in, in, in Nick's head and Genesis' head as in maybe, you know, I don't know, if I had to think of something off the top of my head, plant a seed at, let's say, getting another employee, or a couple employees, you, you be the manager, so manager is automatic pay grade right there, you know, uh, figure out how to, I think if you figure out a way how to make the business more money, your pay grade might go up, I don't know guys, what do you think, how can he, how can he make some more money, because he's going to be living on his own, so he's going to, he's going to need some paper. And Genesis, this cheap, I mean, this Genesis, Whoa. this Genesis right here, you know, so, and this is, and you guys say, no, and some of you guys say, some of you guys have told me, Eddie, you know, it's owning a business hard. Uh, it's very hard. Owning a business. I'm balling, I'm 21. Yeah, owning a business is very, is, is very, very difficult, guys. And here's how I look at it. It, it's I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, I'm not a motivational speaker so I'm not here to motivate anybody I'm here just to give you a little help if you guys want to start a business and have an idea and you think it's good the the main thing I'm not gonna say don't tell anybody because what happens when you get a vision in your head and you have an idea and you think man that's a great idea and then you go tell somebody that idea most likely they're gonna shoot that idea down. They're gonna tell you it's not good. They're gonna tell you, you know, eh, I'm not, I'm not feeling it, you know. They're, you, and you guys gotta remember one thing. They're not feeling that vision because that vision wasn't in their head. That was in your head. So you can't expect them to, you know, think that it's a good idea. Like for example, you tell me, I, you told me, hey, I'm gonna start a detail business. You know, you wanna do it? I tell you, hell no, what detail, no. That's that's not what I do. That's not my vision. That's not in my head. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't think that 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 didn't come to me. You know, you're mad when you guys imagine these things. I want to imagine to own a business one day. Make that you know imagine imagine that, that thought that you have in your head. Make it true. You know, Nick, he he was determined to. He used to ask me. So when I had a I, I don't know I was like probably 19, 20 at the time. I had like a low rider black Chrysler black. <laughs> and the thing had like swirls all over. The paint, and you guys know, you know, scratches. Or, I mean, you look at my truck now, you see it looks like just one white mirror. And it had swirls. And Nick was like, dude, how do you get rid of that in your black car? And I was like, you don't, it's impossible. I went to every detailer at the time to try to get rid of it, and you don't. It's impossible. I told Nick, give up, uh, it's not possible to get rid of. That's where the seed was planted. <laughs> yeah, so in him, his mind, he got this idea, dude, I can figure this out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it my all and go for it, you know? 
And sure enough, he did. He figured it out. He got it out. He got the swirls out. At the time, you know, my black car was way gone because it took him forever to figure it out. But eventually, he figured it out and he got it. Uh, so, long story short, guys, if you got an idea, if you want to run your own business, do it. You know, uh, they they uh, they'll tell you if you want to, you there's know, a book kill. Out there. There's a lot of books that no, you guys can read. A lot of one books. Book. Look it up. It's called Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's about mindset with like the poor dad. This guy. Long story short, a kid grew up asking me how to get rich. He, his real dad had a poor mindset saying like don't do this, go to school, blah blah blah, work for someone like financially stable. The rich dad started his own company. So go buy it, read it. Ten out of ten book. It'll change your life. Trust me. What's it called? Rich, rich dad, poor dad. Rich dad, poor dad. So. And what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to, uh, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is, if you want to, if you have something, and you want someone to go, you know, you have, you have the vision, you want to go share it with somebody, they will most likely knock their vision down. They say you want to kill your your idea, go tell it to a small-minded person, because that person is not up to your level, maybe, or doesn't think that you can do it because they can't do it. So. If you guys want to start a business like Genesis Detailing, the guy started from, you know, washing like two cars a day. Now has his own shop. Now he he doesn't even have time to wash cars because he's doing so many ceramic coating and correcting. Then got so big, brought homeless in here. That's hopefully not going to be homeless for much longer because he's been doing good. He's been with him actually since pretty much. I, well, Nick, did, didn't he have like two employees before you? I think. Yeah, he had two employees before him that left. Um, he's liking it. He's doing good. He used to just wash cars. Now he's finally up to aren't you buffing and playing with machines and stuff now? That's a little dangerous. So he's up to machines, which that's a big step, you know, because I mean, like me, if you tell me, hey, Eddie, you know, wax your trucks, ceramic coat it, you know, buff it, I don't trust myself to do it because you can burn the paint uh, or you can miss a spot that I can't see. You can dull a spot, have a hazy spot. You know, so it's just, to me, it's not my thing. It's not my vision, you know, but I told Nick, you want to do it. Start his own business, he got it done. So if you guys want to do it, guys, start your business or you have an idea, do it. You know, keep it to yourself or just remember when that person shoots it down, it's not their vision, it's your vision. Find so, a mentor. Yeah, fi find, find a mentor, find your niche. Find what you're good at. You know, uh, there, was, there was somebody, I, I forgot, I read it somewhere online, it said, when you work, I'm probably gonna jack this all up, but when you work, it, it sh you should be making the most money with the least amount of effort, which means you're so good at what you do that the work, the job that you're doing is so easy to you and people look at it like, man, that's a pain in the butt, but to you, it's so easy for you and it's like nothing. You wake up and you're just like, oh, this is easy. And you make money doing it. So stick with that, guys. Just try it. Keep doing what you're doing, keep hustling. A lot of respect for Jacob here. His whole family's leaving, he's staying. So, you know what, we'll see how he does. Hopefully he stays with Nick and they can expand. Uh, they are growing, they're growing and growing a lot and maybe they can keep growing and get bigger and bigger and bigger. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and you wanna keep Jacob not homeless, give this video a thumbs up and hopefully uh, he gets off he gets off the street soon uh, and he stays uh, doing good and continues working with Nick but that's all I got for you guys thank you guys for watching this video if you like it hit that thumbs up button don't forget to click subscribe peace yeah